This is Billy. He wants to learn more about marketing so he can make the big bucks in the lemonade business. Billy, do you even know what marketing is? The American Marketing Association defines marketing as an organizational function that creates and maintains customer relationships in ways that benefit the organization and its stakeholders. Do you understand what this means, Billy? Well, let us help you out. First of all, you have a target market. These are the people who will buy your product. How do I get people to buy my product? Through advertising, of course. Huh? Always remember, advertising is the wonder in Wonder Bread. Oh, I get it now. Wonder Bread. Billy, do you know what a product is? A product is a good, service, or idea. Oh, like... This? Yes, Billy, that's a good. And this is an example of a service. And this is an example of an idea. Oh! There's two types of products, consumer and business. What's a consumer product? It's a product purchased for personal use. There's four types, convenience, shopping, specialty, and onside. What about a business product? They're purchased directly or indirectly in production of another product. There are six types of these. Installations, accessory equipment, maintenance, raw materials, process materials, and business services. Wow, who knew products could be so complex? The things that make products so complex and different are called product differentiation. How do I make different products? Through innovation and through staying current on product life cycles or the pattern of sales and profits that change over time. Okay, products, innovation, product life cycles. Man, I'm going to be rolling in the dough. Now here's the real secrets to success, Billy. The four P's. Right product, right place, right person, right price. The result of getting all four right is... Ice cream? No, Billy. A good distribution strategy. A distribution strategy consists of a channel of distribution, how the products get to the consumer, and the physical distribution, the actual movement of products along that channel, which includes warehousing, materials handling, inventory control, order processing, customer service, and transportation. So how I'm going to get my lemonade to my customers is the channel, and what gets it there is the physical distribution, right? Great, Billy. You're really catching on. Just call me Mr. Marketing. Whoa, 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 Billy. Getting a little ahead of yourself, huh? Listen closely. This part is confusing. Channel intermediaries. Here's an example. Coppertone sells sunblock to Costco. Costco then sells the sunblock to its customers. Can you guess the intermediary, Billy? Ice cream? No, Costco. And Costco is also the distributor. Coppertone is the producer. Pay attention now, Billy. Distributors are important because they add value to the producer's products in six different ways. Form, time, place, information, service, and ownership. So let's go to the types of distributors, retailers and wholesalers. What are retailers? Retailers sell directly to the consumer. What are wholesalers? Wholesalers buy from the producer and sell to the businesses. So a retailer would be like Walmart and a wholesaler would be Sam's Club? Yes, Billy, but be careful. Sam's Club is also a retailer because they sell to the consumer as well. I'll be a producer and a retailer. You're an entrepreneur, Billy. And as an entrepreneur, you're going to have to pay extra attention to your pricing objectives and strategies. Every business's fundamental goal is long-term profitability. And another key objective to keep in mind is boosting volume. With all this in mind, you'll be sure to succeed, Billy.
Billy, we're almost done. Thank God I should have never asked about any of this. To become an absolute marketing expert, you need to have a good understanding of promotion. Promotion is the power to influence your consumers, and it only works with a great product. Companies coordinate their messages through various marketing channels to promote their products. Do you know what that's called, Billy? No, what? Integrated marketing communication. Remember that target market? Yeah, the people who are most likely to buy my product. Exactly. The main key of your promotional message is your positioning statement, which is the way you want your target market to view your product. Great, but how do I get my message out there? Good question, Billy. Most businesses use their websites, salespeople, and other means of advertising, including word of mouth. One of the fastest growing categories of promotional spending is sponsor sponsorships. Businesses use a better known partner in order to raise awareness for their product. Another thing companies use is public relations, which is basically the public media. The business has no control over this aspect of promotion, however. Public relations is considered one of the most useful promotional tools out there. Too much promotion. Yes, Billy, it is a lot, but guess what? A couple more things and you're done. Companies also promote through different types of selling. Personal, missionary, consultative, and team. A good mix of all the different types. Billy, come back now. A good mix of all the different types of promotion is always the best way to go for a maximum promotion of your product. Are we done yet? Yeah, Billy, we're done. You have now become a marketing expert in less than 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>